Hey guys, so uh, what we're talking about today is the fuel tank on my generator. Uh, I actually had a leak on my fuel tank, and this is the tank I was able to come up with. It's a universal style tank. Uh, this one's a five gallon, and these are kind of all over the internet. Uh, Amazon, eBay, and different places have them. Uh, all kinds of different names, uh, but it's worked pretty good for me, and I'm going to show you how I was able to make it work for my generator. So here's the reason I had to replace the tank and it's a little hard to see but there's a crack right there on the tank where the grommet and the fuel shutoff pushed into the old tank and so basically what I used was some aluminum angle stock and I've just taken some quarter inch bolts to secure that to the original framing and made sure to use nylon lock nuts on that due to all the vibration on the generator. Now, um, as far as mounting the tank to that after you get that done, I've just taken some old tubing I've got and split it and put it around the edges to kind of help dampen it a little bit and then just use these uh, heater hose style clamps through the mounting holes of the tank and over the aluminum stock. And that worked pretty good. And this particular tank is, I believe, meant to mimic like a, a Honda tank, and so it does have the fuel gauge. I've got the fuel out of it at this point, and uh, that worked pretty good as far as I can tell last time I used it. Kind of a standard type cap, and this was nice. It did have a uh, fuel screen, strainer screen in the, in the tank. Now, the one upgrade I did make was on the fuel shutoff. Um, I had a little trouble with the fuel shutoff that came with it. It looked identical to this one, but I just wasn't able to get it stopped leaking, and, and maybe that was something I was doing wrong. But this one is a, an actual Briggs and Stratton uh, fuel shutoff that I found that with the same threads and everything, and that worked beautifully. And so I'll supply the part number there in case you want to do the same. Just double check before ordering and make sure it's what you need. Uh, while I was working on my generator, I wanted to tackle this. This this handle on these drives me crazy. It just rattles like crazy. And so I've just ended up doing a simple solution. Just put some pipe foam on there. And then these pins that go through the handle, they rattle a lot too. And so what I was able to do there was just find some um, electrical heat shrink tubing and put over those. And that worked beautifully. Um, so that, that fixed that situation, and I'm back in business, which is great. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, just post them in the comment section below. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.